Everybody stop talking now. I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. He know about it, bitch, you know now. Say you gotta hear it from the goat That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Go talk radio live, CEO P. And it's the big homie double XL. Y'all welcome back, man. We got a great show for y'all. Follow me at Rock the Mic News. And me at IMXXL. And the whole team at Go Talk Radio Live. HPMG on demand.com is live right now. Check us out, y'all. X, what we got today? Hey, man, I'm feeling real good, man. Are you, we, we, we talking conscious music. Are you feeling woke? I'm feeling woke. Did you bring your backpack? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we talking, man. We talking conscious records. Yeah, we're going to talk conscious, conscious rappers, albums, impact. We're going to break down what conscious is, though, because we don't think y'all know what's going on. Hey, let's get it, man. Look, man, it's Go Talk Radio. Y'all keep it locked. I'm going to get into a Kendrick record right now. Let's set this off. Yeah, properly. he's definitely conscious. Let's this do all it. pimp my butterfly, man. Shout out to K-Doc. You. Let's get it, too. Represent the unity and group operation black people need to have. Like, we can all get shit done individually, but, man, collectively, man, we can kick yeah, down the whole absolutely. fucking building. Right. I mean, but that's that's a big issue that I think we have is just, you know, being able to understand that you can trust your brother. You know, we got a, a individualistic mind state when it comes, especially in the entertainment industry. Everybody want to be the man. And like, you know, they say in the movie, some of these dudes just want to be the man just because without any real reasoning behind it. You just mm -hmm. want to be the man to be the man. But, you know, it's one thing to be able to accomplish your dreams. That's a dope feeling. But when you can look to your left and look to your right and you're doing it with your partners, like somebody you can't nothing with it, you can progress into coming into you know all of the things that you dreamed of having and you can look and and share that spotlight and share that those rewards with people that you really genuinely care about and love it's a much better it's much more accomplishing in my opinion than being able to do anything that you do alone you know what i mean teamwork make the dream work as three shares of sound go talk radio live and we're back we're back and what you just heard was kendrick lamar double x ceo ceo p Woo Radio, man, we talking conscious records. Conscious today. hip hop, man. Yeah. First of all, man, we we make it sound too soft. What what we is gotta step it up? Let me ask you this, C C E P to you. Yeah. How would you define conscious hip hop? Woke. Woke. So you're gonna one word it. Just woke. Just woke. <laughs> Bet. Nah, you know what? Conscious hip hop, I think, sits in three buckets. What are those three buckets? I would say conscious hip hop can be Political, conscious hip hop could be thought provoking, mm -hmm. like a story, like describing a moment in time. You know what I mean? Where was you when you heard that record? Fight the power. You know what I mean? And also, I would say, for the most part, positive. Like not necessarily glorifying I think, I think, negative images. I think we're on the same page. My personal definition is music that does not does not glorify drugs, sex, and women, or, or just demeaning of women. All music glorifies that. No? No, 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 all music don't. And, and it got me thinking, so I looked up, I looked, I, I, I hit you the, Google? I Googled, you, you know, Google, Google is your friend. Okay. Google says conscious rap is a subgenre okay. of hip-hop that focuses on creating awareness and imparting knowledge. Conscious rappers traditionally have decried violence, discrimination, and other elements of society. So far as I'm concerned, we right on point, man. So that's what I want to know. Since we talking about conscious rap, can I be a gangster and do conscious rap? I would say yes. It happens all the time. I feel like okay. it happens all the time. Okay. I feel okay. like um, a rapper like a Ice Cube dances on that line. Definitely conscious. Because he's political. He dances on that Gangster conscious conscious line. He's he's right okay. on that line. Now can I now without from my research, I see where rappers did not necessarily wanted to be grouped and being conscious because a lot of conscious rappers are lyricists, Black Thought, Talib Kweli, Most Deaf. So they don't necessarily want to sit in that bucket because you know do I I, I still want to rap. 
I think they 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 uh, surmounted to solve. Yeah, and it, it, it yeah. is really it's really not it's yeah. really not at all. It's really not at all. It's it's how it's, it's, it's and it has a lot to do with the marketing of music. We know what music is pushed to the forefront when it comes to to, to marketing. A lot of people say conscious hip hop is the real hip hop, though. Have you heard that? Uh, it, 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 I have heard it, but I wouldn't go that far because let me tell you, I, I'm I'm an educated black man. I don't believe in causing no crimes or none of that. But when I might get in my car, I want to hear some gangster rap. So, answer me this: What do the production sound like, though? I don't. But you, you gotta, don't think it's a little jazzy, little boom bap? If most of the time, what if, do you think? If you're talking '80s, '90s, soulful. If you're talking '80s, '90s, I believe it switched up. This once, uh, once we got like a Kanye. I, I think Kanye. Changed the time. It's so full though. I think, no. but I think we it changed what we looked at as as gangsta, as, as, as conscious rap okay. because I don't think eighties nineties conscious rap was soulful. It was those other. It was jazzy, okay. but it wasn't necessarily soulful. Okay, it wasn't it, it wasn't those Rick Ross uh, 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 type beats. beats. It won't those uh, um, um, what's my man? What, what am I? Who we talking about? You, Give me a song. Uh, uh, Nipsey won't those Nipsey yeah, type Nipsey, beats. Nipsey Hustle. You see what I'm saying? Nipsey so Hustle. that that is what really changed when Kanye came in the game. He had gangsters. Was and this is my question? Did Kanye have gangsters rapping over conscious beat? That's interesting. Or was the you know, conscious guys rapping over gangsters? Beat? You know, what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a couple of records and we're gonna come back. We gonna we gonna we we need to really study this. What man, records we got coming up, man? We man, don't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> I don't know all the records. They're conscious. I don't know they're conscious. Okay, we'll talk about they're it when conscious. we get back. Look, we're going to talk about that when we get back. Because I want to, you know, I think I like some gangster conscious rappers. That's what, that's what, that's my gangs. that's my type of conscious uh, you, rap. You, you I want to, old... I want you to mix it. I like, I think Pac is gangster. You I mean, and you conscious. So Listen, Pac, we're talking about Pac, we get back. Let's Go get talk it. radio, let's play some rap. Y'all are drawing this If you're just joining us, we're talking about conscious rap today. We, you know, we we analyzing conscious rap. We're gonna talk about these conscious goats. We gotta put some respect on conscious rap. Yeah, man. And it's definitely a lot of MCs out there. And it's it's hard to when you think of conscious rap, you really just can't pigeonhole one type of MC. Let's let's start identifying. Okay. Let, let let's go here. I'm gonna go with. I want to start with. Forgive me, y'all. I'm gonna call them. My rip, my rapidy raps, lyrical miracles. That's where I want to start. Your rapidy rap rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the ones that that necessarily don't kill me, America. The ones necessarily that don't pick the best beats. <laughs> the production does not necessarily impress me yeah. all the time. But they bars is always in line, very impressive. So who we talking? on a line of battle rap? Who we talking? I'm going with J. Cole. Conscious? Yeah, he conscious, but I, I, I can't I can't just crap on his beat selection. No, no, no. I like no, no, J. Cole beats. Some of, come on. Some I, of them, I, I do like some I, of them Cole beats on what was that joint? The 2014 Forest Drive or whatever. But but he be skating though. <laughs> they, they fit his flow. He be come on now. Up. Hold on. Kendrick Lamar, here's another one. Pit by Butterfly. The beats were suspect. I don't, yeah, but but you gotta look. He like, had to come back with them and put us back in our place. But we started to sleep but on. But you gotta look. This man got three, four albums. You talking about one album? Think about the first album. 
Will we put Good what? Kid, Mad City? No, no, fine. Incredible. Fire. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre to me, fine. that was the last classic put out. I don't think it's been a classic put out since then. That's a classic the last conscious classic. record. No, classic, period. Oh, wait. So What's saying, came out since then? Wait a second. We're saying Good City, Mad City, Good good Kid, Mad City. To me, was the last. The last classic? Yes. In hip-hop. Tell me I'm wrong. What came out after it? That's a classic, top to bottom. You can listen to it no. all the way through. Exactly. That's a tough one, man. That was it. I gotta think about that though. That was I it. Th- I feel like I got some out. I th- I feel like I got a drink in there somewhere I could go top the bottom with. I don't drink? Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You remember when kids were trying to battle Drake too? I mean, they, ne- they never came in hands. He was trying to go in his hand. Drake you know when he called everybody out. Yeah, Drake ain't really, you know, he ain't really paid. He ain't really paying attention. Yeah, but he, he got and that then last. he paid the, hey, push the T attention then to. Yeah, you know, he, look, he got that last classic though, man. And I did anybody out there in TV land to look and in, in, in Radio Land and challenge me on that what that's, came that's out different. after that's Kendrick's different. first album. That's a classic. That's different. Um, um, but you, so you said Kendrick, J Cole, I would those are all. Wale? I would say Wale is a conscious rapper. He can he can he can have this one category though. He can kind of I'm not gonna say always, but he can kind of have a bar or two that can be considered. Demeaning toward women's. Attitude. So let's say this, because to me, no disrespect, Wale. Wale's poetic. So is a poetic rapper, is that conscious? Uh, he's not trying to sell you coke, and he's not trying to shoot you in the face. To me, that makes him So crazy. everybody not trying to, I don't agree with that. I'm not saying everybody. Drake, wait, I'm wait, wait, because Drake, Drake is not doing that. And Drake, is Drake conscious? Uh, Drake comes from, uh, I, I feel like he comes from that conscious branch of rap, that backpacking. School of rap. I feel like that's where it's foundation. So backpacking is conscious. Uh, yes. Okay. So yes. Rock Kim's conscious. Yes, Rock Kim is definitely conscious. Black thought. Black thought definitely conscious, and those Goody are Mob. definitely goats. Uh, Goody Mob as a group definitely a conscious group. Outcast. Mm, I, don't, I don't know about early Outcast, but after the first album, definitely, and mm. maybe even the first album. ATL. Mm. It's, it's something okay. to think about. And then, and you know, you got artists that 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 we're going to talk about when we get back to that that started all mostly in the gangster field, and as they got older, we're going to talk about they, political. They, they flipped over to yeah. conscious rap. We got to talk about we got to talk about political. Political, I know. I political know my favorite, rap. My Polit- favorite group. Killer Mike. Today. I said no, group. No, I like, I like I Killer group. Mike, but my favorite group. is a group. Said group. We talking about political rap. We talking. About I'm still stuck on you saying Kendrick had the last classic. Kendrick had the last classic. Pro- oh, prove me no, wrong. Who one. dropped the classic after Kendrick's album? I got. Think Where's about, the last? I gotta look at Drake's. Uh-huh. I think I'm. A, I'm think I'm a Google during the music break. What is Drake's I, I classic gotta, album? I gotta look at. What is Drake's look. classic? I think he got two on there. Though. What are they? Look. I gotta look. You gotta look. Gotta look. If you gotta, gotta look, look, is it really a classic? I don't know the name because Drake be naming his then stuff. Then it's not a classic. Yo, man, go talk radio. Play these records. I'm a Google. We'll be back. And we back, Go Talk Radio Live. This is the big homie, Double XL. And CEOP is over here trying to find a classic album that came yeah, out I'm Googling after it. Good the Kid, spot. Mad on the City. Spot. Nothing was the same, Drake. 2013, Good City, Mad City. Mad Kid, Good City came out in 2012. Nothing was the same, was fire. That had cream on it. That's he actually did a lot of dedication to Wu-Tang on that album. Nothing was Live the same. Live on Wu Radio. Nothing was the same. Give me five records off. Nothing was the same. Give me five records off that classic of yours. I'm going to tell you like this, America. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. This is what happens. In the streaming era, I don't know the name. He's backpedaling. He's like a I can give you choruses. He's like a all I can pro give you chorus. Cornerback in the NFL because he's backpedaling right Man, we have bad. He's getting the coverage. We have bad behavior. We had Tuscan Leather, the he's, joint you he's, played. He's Googling these records. We had Wu-Tang Forever. He's Googling these records. I don't remember the names. We had um, Pound Cake. I don't remember the names. I did like Pound Cake. Yeah. So was that album better than Good Kid, Man City? No, no, no. You didn't say better. You said classic. I know. I'm Started on, from the I, bottom was I'm on that album, I know, people. I'm, Come know, on. I'm allowed to ask additional questions. Listen. Who you think is better than Good Kid? Massive. No, it's not better. Okay, it's okay. a classic. I just wanted to make you sure. You asked what was a classic. So let's move on to what we're talking about. Yeah. Now that you are thoroughly embarrassed, I'm we, not. Yes, you. Yes, you are. Drake had a classic after Kendrick. We no. solved that. Hey, 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 business team. I just want y'all to know who gonna have a clip this week. 
Okay. Let's talk, let's talk C.O.P. About... gonna have a clip this week because he ain't here tripping. But now we talking political, con- political, yeah. political conscious hip hop. Ice Who Cube, you? Ice Cube, definitely. And as we said earlier, Ice Cube definitely danced in that line. A lot of people would say, "How are we gonna consider Ice Cube uh, not a gangster rapper?" But if he you is. listen to his He's music, both. the way the way he approached the subject yeah. was not from a way of glorifying. He Sometimes. never glorified it. Sometimes. For the most part, it was it was just this is how it is Sometimes. type of talk, or he talked about it in a negative way he, for the most part. He was representing the West. Sometimes he is. And then you talk about the big dogs of political rap. You gotta, public you enema. Talk about public enema. Public enema. Public enema. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about the albums. And you got to think, we was kids, and these messages that they were putting on here were some powerful messages, man. And I just appreciate everything that Chuck D. And Flavor Flav brought to the game when we was young. They, I want y'all to think about this. All these drugs that kids do, my generation, our generation ain't do no crack. We sold it though. But you know why we, ain't, you know why we ain't smoke crack? We sold it because <laughs> Public Enemy, Kara S One, and yeah. all the rappers from that era told us it was whack. Hold on, go ahead and talk about them two two important records: Self Destruction and Same Game. Self Destruction, Same Game was very important records because there you had. Some gangster rappers yep. jumping on records with a positive message. Yep. And then you had all the rappers that were dope at that time jumping on that record. That's a so conscious song. Those are some early concerts. You want to talk about early concerts, we got to talk about the message. The yeah. original message. Yeah, because we got We're going to talk about the original we got message. message. Sure. I'm, I'm going yeah. to wait to talk about the yeah. original message. So, um, political, I would say Kanye is political. Kanye before. No, no, he's political now. He political now. No, no. He tried to run for president. That's political. We're talking about music. <laughs> he tried to run. He said scoopity doop doop da da on the record. That political. doesn't count. I believe that Kanye's first album was uh, more geared towards conscious music. Yeah. Okay. Um, his second album the same way. Yeah. And then he got some money and things started to get weird. Okay. I think he treaded that line. I got to go Wu-Tang. I gotta go Wu Tang. Wu Tang definitely. Since uh, we in the group, I think certain members more than the others. I would say a RZA more than. But uh, there was five percent. You know what I'm saying? They was giving us the knowledge. Yeah, but they were they, they was also talking about shooting you in the face in certain songs. They say they would if they had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gangsta uh, rap. Uh, pop. Yeah, pop definitely had elements of yeah. conscious rap. Brenda got a baby. Yeah, records like that. Definitely. Yeah. Queen Lock. Queen for the ladies. Oh, yeah. You and I, yeah. why? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She came in the game with ladies first. Yeah. That's a yeah. fact. So, look. We got to put some respect on this group that I feel like is our version and our era of Public Enemy. Dead Prez. Oh, Dead Prez is my favorite political group of all time, man. Yeah. Um, them boys, they, they ain't put enough respect on them guys' no. music, man. No. So, that's let's go ahead and do. play one. We're going to get into some Dead We're going to play one, right? and then we got to talk about, let's talk about the albums and the songs that really made an impact. Y'all keep it locked. Go talk. Yeah. And we back. Go talk radio. And the day, this Friday, this Friday is a very special Friday. We about to get into that shortly. But, hey, Pete, I know we talked earlier, man, the prep for the show, man. Um, yeah. let's, let's, let's run down this list, man, because we want to show some love to everybody who we consider conscious. We may have to knock a couple of them off the list. But well, let's run this list, man, because this is a special day. Let's, let's, let's show do some it, homage, man. Man. Let's do it, man. Double XL CEOP right here on Woo Radio. We are talking about conscious today. This Woke Fridays. So, look, we talked about political. We talked about rapidy, rapidy. We didn't say nothing about Nas. Nas definitely had some conscious elements. Common. He had a conscious album. Uh, Common. P- P- if he is the definition of a conscious rapper. De La Soul. De La Soul definitely in the whole, the Jungle Brothers uh, poor righteous teachers. Hold on, poor righteous the, the trying call quest. Yeah, uh, that whole movement, the whole yeah. movement. Uh, um, the, uh, native tongues, my native brother. Native tongues movement. Native, my, native tongues. Shout out, Chance. Chance the rapper, definitely a conscious MC. J Electronica. Hey, one of my favorites. It definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What? What you mean? If he's not conscious, what is he? Why? What what's your boy name? Why and? Why did you go put me on the, the spot? The new right? guy. The new. Why Ben Cobain? Co- Co- I can't say his name. Corday. Corday. I don't yeah, remember yeah. that. I don't remember that. My bad. Acronym. My bad. Cordae has some okay. elements of, of conscious. Dope, dope young brother. So look, let's talk about this before we get to the song. Let's talk about the albums we feel like changed the game. Dope, All right? The Ghosts of Conscious. We're going to talk about the Ghosts of Conscious albums. Let's do it. Uh, we definitely got to put Public Enemy Takes a Nation. It a Takes a Nation a Million. That got yeah. to go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a classic, man. That actually set the trend for 
what was to come of Conscious Albums. Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted. In there. How's it not in there? Nas Untitled. Nas Untitled, one of my favorite Nas albums, yes. Try Car Quest, Low End Theory. Low End Theory. They had you a couple could, of them. You can also throw Midnight Marauders in there. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, if you go back and listen to those two albums, the production is still very relevant. It's crispy. That was when we first found out who Jay Dilla was. We didn't know who he was, but Jay Dilla was behind a lot of those records. Yeah. Dad Prez Get Free. One of my favorites, if if not my favorite. Kanye West, College Dropout. College Dropout is definitely on that list. And it's one of Kanye's top dog albums along with 808 Heartbreaks, even though you don't feel that way. All right, here we go. Uh, A suspect one, beat wise. J. Cole, A Forest Hill Drive. Definitely, definitely. J. Cole. He laid some crazy bars on that. Okay, the beats are not on that record. But the bars a, are incredible. I got a tie album for the production. What's that? A little suspect. Kendrick Lamar, Pimp My Butterfly. See, I like that Pimp My Butterfly, but it's not You can't name five It's songs. not my favorite. You can't I, name I'm going to say Good Kid, Mad City over that. You can't name five records. Um, Jay-Z, 444. 444. Four, four. Nothing mm. to talk about. Nothing to talk about. A lot of people are going to say, what, they're going to look at Jay-Z as... How he started. Yeah. With it was a conscious said, album, but yeah. he's not a conscious rapper. He is not. I think he's more conscious rapper now. We gotta do TI too. Us or else. Us or else. He's not a conscious rapper, but it was a conscious album. album. That was incredible. You album. dig? And of course, can't leave my guy off. Tupac, Tupac. Was that whole album conscious though? Tupacalist? Brenda got a baby? I don't know. Was hit him up on the album? No. I don't know. I mix I mix my Tupac albums up. I don't know. No, hit him up. Was it on that album, man? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. He ain't disco about an album? No. Tupacalist was his first, first album. Oh, he want a thug yet. Yeah. I'm just I'm just oh, asking. Oh, oh, my goodness. I'm just... Let's get, <laughs> let's get to some songs. Let's get to some songs. I can't take it. Let's get to some songs. What? Can we let, we got to shout out your guy, Lil Baby, because he made an impact. We're going to get all that into the mix later, man, but look... We got to shut everything down right quick, man, because we got to have a serious conversation. Okay. The first, what I consider the first conscious song ever All right. was called The Message. Okay. The Message. You know The Message. Mm-hmm. Broken glass everywhere. Yeah. People pissing on it. Yeah. They just don't care. Who is that? How'd you get it? That is oh. Melly Mel. Various that's, the whole, that's the whole That's the whole squad. Yeah. And that was Don't Touch Me. Yeah. You, y'all know the yeah, record. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a classic record. Yeah. And I just want to tell y'all. That HPMG That's right. redid a rendition. We ain't do it. Well, we I'm sorry. Let it's a try. rendition. It's a tribute to that record, and we call it Message 2021. Message. What you're about to hear is CEOP, Double XL, Pinky Ring, yeah. JL, yeah. who I'm T, and Walt T, yeah. produced Spit by bombs. the legendary producer Hershey, featuring Spit Bars on the Hook. Yeah. This is the Message 2021. Yeah. Let's get it, HPMG on the band. Yeah. No more hands, I've been no shoot. No more hands, I've been no shoot. No more hands, I've been no shoot. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I ain't telling you sell dope, I'm just telling you you dope. They told us it was drugs, tell us that little bags of hope. Police looking at us funny, but we ain't understand the joke. Then they gave us felony, cause we ain't understand the vote. Like we was the ones breaking that shit up off the boat. How you feed it with a soul to expect them not to have a stroke? How you tell young and chill when his mama grew up poke? Got a slave man, childish without the plans to the rope. But the only thing he know is that he never grew up poke. So the age of 13, youngin', posted by the stove. Couldn't even cook noodles, but he could cook fire blow. Youngin', pray for a sign, who knew that shit come as coke? Wanna- Live my life, and go where I go I swear to God I ain't in your way So why you wanna pull me over And shake me down Swear to God this ain't how I uh-huh. play Cause black uh-huh. lives I'm from Virginia, my nigga the first slave Shake the years 2020, my nigga still eat with slaves hey. Oodle noodles chillin' and spam I'm talking potty me, riding me Blood pressure, diabetes, we don't know how to, we eat. Know how to eat We was taught to finish our plate Full of pork and red meat, didn't know what was at stake Thank Big you. mama in the kitchen singing him about Jerusalem Doctor said it's nothing he can do, she about to lose a limp But we from the hood, it ain't no whole fools Brothers coming home from jail calling swole food if that ain't no fool Ironic how you lose your soul from some soul food I just wanna food. live my life and go where I go I swear to God I ain't in your way 
So why you wanna pull me over and shake me down? Swear to God, this ain't how I play. This black lives matter. Being fresh is a must. And fat heads and diamond chains we trust. You see what I got? I got a credit card. What's a credit score? No house, no car. What I need credit for? Check it, check living. I gotta spin it all. Not a debt high. Banks won't lend it all. Got lenders paying lenders. If only I save more. Try and keep up with the winners. Taught to be broke. School a part of it. Taught to get a job. Stay far from rich. Get a fixed check. This it. Now how to manage it? Now I'm in debt. Credit is gon' damage it. I'ma get out of this. Equality. Economically, us. only way our lives matter, don't hate the honesty. Hate as long as we broke, we gon' need them. Get your money. Financially, freedom, the only freedom. I just live my life and go where I go. I swear to God, I ain't in your way. So why you wanna pull me over and shake me down? Swear to God, this ain't how I play. This black lives matter. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. Tight us since a little tight. All his life he had to fight. Learned lessons through scars and bruises. It lessened the scars and bruises. Earned the stripes from darker hues, but it wasn't clear how they viewed. The sea and crumbling pale hands are throw away by the clear man. Now they officers of the law. They pull it quick on the draw. They lining the side and chow. Police report looking flawed. Our mothers looking to plow. Our sisters looking for cops. But we all looking for why. For another brother's before. Uh, they just taught us what they taught us and we ran with it. Now all this interaction killing during the pain. Pandemic. It was written and prophesied 1620s. Still trying to trick us off the turf. No thanks. I just want to live my life and go where I go. I swear to God, I ain't in your way. So why you want to pull me over and shake me down? Swear to God, this ain't how I play. Charges Cause black they hate matter. us for black skin. They don't want to see black win. Get some money, rub it in. Black rims on the black bin. Can't trust them, I'm strapped in. Be red or white like the black friend. Them black vac seal bags of the piff. I just dumped 10. Black bottles, black cars, this ratchet, my black broad. Barry go in the backyard, club hopping, we black stars. Get black ball, call me, I throw oops off the backboard. Neil break to a black guard, black rush in my backwoods. Black chopper, this long ride, wildin' out, we the black squad. Even wifey, my black queen, keep some shit in her black bra. No boy with a black tar fist, puppet, hold black power. With white in the black jaw, when I die, bring black flowers. I just wanna yeah. live my life, and go where I go. I swear to God, I ain't in your way. So why you wanna pull me over and shake me down? Swear to God, this ain't how I play. This black lives matter. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. Cause black lives matter. Cause black lives matter. No more hands up and don't shoot. No. 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 Cause black lives matter. Cause black lives matter. Go Talk Radio Live, CEOP, Double XL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are back, man. We are talking about the conscious goats. We talking about records. We talking about songs. We talking about artists. And what we learned today, man, is you really can't put these artists in a particular bucket, You can't man. put them in a box, They man. come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them do it full time. Some of them just do songs. Some had did full whole albums. Some just did standalone albums, and that was it. They went back being gang gang bankster. You know what I mean? So, and, it, and it doesn't matter what region or your uh, economic upbringing. You got conscious rappers from the hood. You got conscious rappers from the suburbs. And I hate to say it, but you got gangster rappers from the hood. You got gangster rappers from the suburbs, too. And what we really learn from the situation, man, is, you know, conscious is not a bad thing. It just means your music has a message. Speaking of yeah. a message, let's talk about that record that just went off double next year. The message 2021, man. When inspired that? Uh, let's talk about it. It, what inspired it is HPMG is back, and we out here in the streets, but we're, we're not 20-year-olds anymore. 
you know, we're, we're older and we're coming with a different matches that reflect where we are in our life. And around the time we recorded the record, it was just a lot going on in America as far as police brutality and other issues that is uh, plaguing the black community. Still and, a lot going on. Yeah, right? still a lot going on. And <laughs> it hasn't we, stopped yet. <laughs> and what we wanted to do is just address the situation. Not, ju- not just, if you listen to the song, it's not just talking about police brutality. It's talking about how we eat as African Americans. Yeah. Yeah. It talks about how we handle our finances as yeah. African Americans. Yeah. It talks about... It talks about the streets. Yeah, it talks about how we look at ourselves and how others look at us yeah. as African Americans. It talks about the struggle as a whole. Yeah. So that's the message HPMG is putting out there. And if you look at our crew, our crew is not full of conscious rappers. That's right. We have conscious rappers on the roster, That's but right. we also have what people would call street or gangster rappers on the roster. So we all came together to get that record out. And, and so this that's record is available everywhere. The record is heard on all mm-hmm. platforms, man, and the video will be out the top of the week, man. Y'all go to hpmgondemand.com and check that out. Now, what it also on the thing, I think what's important too, man, is we should, you know, the reason I think the, the importance of putting this record out right now, man, is so we don't forget these things. Can't like I it. like like I think we got new president, certain things start calming down, and it's like, are we good now? We getting the uh, what you call them, stimmies. We getting our stimmy checks, and we like we 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 good now. We 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 all right. We chilling, but it's still going on, man. We still got to take care good. of ourselves, bro. This, this what it is. Today is definitely better than it was yesterday, but we still not out the dark. We got still a lot, a lot to do. still a lot going on. We got to keep our foot on the gas and make sure we keep these issues to the forefront so everybody don't forget what's going on in the struggle. We can't get complacent. Absolutely. Definitely can't get complacent, Absolutely. man. And we got to figure out a way to stick together, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to figure out a way to uh, start being conflict, you know, solution-based, you know? Definitely, definitely, man. This HPMG yeah. stuff is going crazy. Next week, next week, the video will be dropping next week, and I want That's you right. all to check out... These shirts we got in the video is a message on each and every artist's shirt. And these shirts will be available on our website. HPMGOnDemandMerch.com. And look, we going live next week, X. So y'all going to better call us. Follow us now. We going live At Go Talk air. Radio Live. At IMXXL. At Rock the Mic News. Follow us, man. We'll, we'll put it out there. And we about to get into this mix, man. Who did DJ, this? man, DJ S2. Shout out to my man, DJ S2. We got a revolution mix going down right now, man. And we showing love to a lot of, lot of the younger artists. We going live, place. too. We want to know how yeah. y'all feel about our record, how y'all feel about our picks. Go Talk Radio Live. Yeah, we out.